Hello, good evening friends. Uh, God bless you. Today I wanted to discuss something about victory. If somebody asks you what is victory, you may say that when one nation goes in war with another nation and they triumph over another nation, we call it a victory, which is true. Or in a competition, just like Olympics, where team or individual competes with each other and they win the first prize, we call it a victory, which is also true. So we have this understanding of victory. And when we look into the Bible, we find so many stories, whether it's a individual story or it's a nation story where individual people has a victory, a big victory. Like uh, Moses, he parted the sea. David, he killed Goliath, the giant. And if you read the book of Judges, you will find so many stories. Samson, Jehu, uh, all the, um, uh, the judges, Joshua. They were victory. There were some victories as a nation, there were some victories at an individual level. But one thing is constant in the stories of biblical victories, that Lord has provided those victories. Lord, God has provided the strength to get the victory. Lord was behind Moses when he stretched out his hand. God sent the east wind wind and it parted the sea. It was God who was there when Joshua and his um, all Israel had shouted, the wall of Jericho came, came down. It was God who provided strength to Samson to bring down the building. It was God who directed the projectile of the stone that David uh, threw through his sling to Goliath and hit right in the forehead. And over and over again, we read this statement like, God fought against the enemies of Israel. God gave them a victory. God was fighting against them. Even Pharaoh says that we cannot find against the God of Israel. The people in Jericho were afraid of God of Israel. How he parted the sea, how he delivered the people out of, out of bondage. So we see these victories, but we know that the victory came through God himself. So what about the victory we don't quite understand if god it's every victory belongs to god then what about us you and me at what level we can call that it is our victory at what level we can call that it was it was our we did something and if you go back to Revelation chapter 2 and 3, you will see that there is a, some level of direction or understanding that we can, we can get it, that what is considered as a victory, we, or we can call it as a victory. And I, I mentioned a couple of things from the scripture. So let us look at two stories, go, David and Goliath. So, yes, God provided that victory. God, when David uh, threw the stone through sling, God directed the path of that stone. And, and the, so where is the David's victory? The David's victory, if you look into what happened before that, his brother, he, David wrote in the Psalm that my brother despised me. The brother did not like David. Even when he went to battlefield, they mocked him and they said, why you even came here? He was despised. He was rejected by his own. But that 
in spite of rejection, in spite of a ridicule by his own family, he chose to follow what God has called him to do. That is victory for David. When David committed adultery and he, his child died, instead of getting bitter, he chose, he will not understand. He said that, God, I prayed and prayed and prayed to save my son, but he died. Instead of getting bitter or, or say, I will not follow God, David chose to follow God. That was his victory. When, when Hannah brought little baby, Samuel, who was very tender age, and she was leaving Samuel in the hands of Levi, trusting God, that was her victory. When Moses was told by God that because you did not glorify me in the eyes of the, uh, eyes of the Israelites, you will not enter into promised land. And instead of getting angry or um, turning away from God, he chose to follow till end. That was considered as a victory. When Noah was called to build the ark, he, there was no rain even happened. They don't know what is called a rain. And it took 120 years from the day he started building the ark to actual flood came in, in form of rain. So people might be mocking him for 120 years. But he continue what God has called him to. That is his victory. When king of Israel was told that, why are you afraid of the enemies, Syrian army? Dig up the hole. That is, there will not be rain or cloud, but the water will come. And it did come and, and the king of Israel got the victory. So against every belief, against everything, they choose to do certain things. They rise up about their rejection they rise up above uh, uh, they rise up, uh, rise up above their personal doubt they rise up about their inadequacy unbelief everything sadness loss they rise about and and follow god that was considered as a victory so my friend tonight you might not have answers of everything that you are going through Everything that you have lost, the sickness that you are facing, the broken relationship you are going through, the divorce you are encountering, the rejection you are feeling. And you don't know what to do about it. But God is a promise. Jeremiah 29, 11, I quoted so many times. God says that I have planned for you and plan to prosper you, not to harm you. Do you believe that? And after believing that, if you follow, keep following God, that is your personal victory. I hope that God would give you that courage to follow him so that you can claim that you are victorious because your father is a victorious too. God bless you. Thank you.